Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Natasha. I am currently out overlanding in my 2006 Jeep Wrangler. Right now, I am in a Planet Fitness parking lot, just like every other car camper. I shower and wash my hair at Planet Fitness. I do have a portable shower, but I don't wash my hair with my portable shower because that's a big to do up there. So I have very long thick hair and I need an actual shower to wash it. But luckily I can go multiple days without washing my hair. So I just got a workout in, took a shower, shaved, used the restroom. I also always disinfect my shoes here because they have really good one-step disinfectant that they always have in the shower. I always take all of my sandals in with me and disinfect all my shoes while I'm in the shower because I wear them all day, every day, and drive in them, and they get disgusting. So, little pro tip for you. The disinfectant at Planet Fitness is really good for disinfecting your shoes. Right now, I'm going to go do my laundry, but I figured I would take you along today to do all my errands. I try to get all my errands done in one day because I really like to only go into cities every once in a while. So I try to knock everything out. So today we're trying to, we got the shower done. We washed my hair, showered, got the workout and I need to do laundry. I need to go grocery shopping. And I would like to at least rinse off my Jeep because it is so dusty right now and vacuum out the inside of it. And yeah, whatever else that Asheville comes and brings my way. I had multiple recommendations from people to go check out Asheville. They say it's a really cool little city. So, like I said, what a better way to just kill two birds with one stone, get all my errands done, and see what Asheville's all about. So, let's get I also make sure I always fill up my water, not to drink it, but just to kind of disinfect your bottle because there's always so much chlorine in Planet Fitness water, so. Gross. All right, so the laundry place is actually in the same little plaza. It's just like in the next parking lot over. So, we're... I'm just gonna go cruise over there. Yes, my Jeep is a stick. And thank God. Because being in these mountains, I will tell you what, I have never been more grateful for having a standard because up and down those altitudes, I'm just like, whew, dailied my stick in New York City. So I don't think there's anything worse than that. Oh, there's a car wash right here too. Man, I like really, oh, it's not, not to drive through it. Here it is, Coin Laundry. There's gas here, this is like one stop. There's a sushi buffet, and I don't think that I will be partaking in that. But um, there's actually groceries here too, so I don't even actually need to go to Walmart because I don't want to. This was kind of a jackpot, not gonna lie. My hair looks crazy, yeah, story of my life. But uh, I'm gonna go check out this Ingalls supermarket. I got 30 minutes to kill before my wash is done, so I figure why not go check it out.
water. Getting really good solar in this parking lot, so I don't want to leave. So I'm just gonna have a little snack right now in the parking lot. Cause why not? I'm like I already got all of my chores done except for a car wash and uh, I gotta figure out what's going on with my blinker. So I guess that's kind of a big to do. I'm gonna try with the re I'm gonna start with the relay. It's not the relay, and it's probably the multi-switch, but the relay is a good, cheaper way to start, and I have to take the multi-switch out to get to the relay anyway, so fingers crossed that I can just get it fixed, because not having blinkers with out-of-state plates is just like asking to get pulled over. I had to braid my hair, so that's why I look like I have no hair right now, but... So I've at least been hand signaling. I wonder if I'll get like credit. Like I wonder if I'll get in trouble. Like would a cop pull me over if I was hand signaling? 